social media, whether you like it or not, everyone's on it. And so, you know, when sales, VPs of sales say, well, I don't believe in it or my clients aren't on it, the odds really aren't in your favor that your buyers are not on social media, right? I think Facebook has more people than continental Europe. The easiest thing you can start with is just turning your profiles into pages that actually, you know, make you look like you're a, someone they want to talk to. An easy way to think about it is, you know, you start with your personal brand and an easy way to do that is to really, you know, look at your LinkedIn profile and decide this is no longer my resume. This is now a portal. This is a website that will sell for me when I'm not on the phone with a prospect. And to do that, you have to think like a marketer. You've got to think, well, my website should have content that people care about. It should give people the under, you know, the view that I'm a trusted advisor. And you start to think about, well, gosh, this is a, a profile that actually someone will look up when I am not talking to them. How does it represent me? And then from there, you can layer on things like social listening, right? Going out there and figuring out kind of what's happening out there in the world. Um, actually pushing content, that's a whole new ball of wax. But for, you know, for now, when I just want to get people started, I just want them to, you know, stay, say, look, let's transform your LinkedIn page from a pro, from a resume to a, um, to a portal. And then let's start to use that portal to, you know, to make your clients really respect you and love you. And then when they're ready to buy, you know, you are essentially this, you know, your social profile and your social presence is always selling. And it's always doing you a favor because when they're ready to talk, they're going to think of you and they're going to trust, you know, reaching out to you. Want to view more relevant thought leadership? Visit www.brighttalk.com.